Hey babes, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back in today's video in my channel, which is your channel. We have Burberry in the house. And if you're ready for today's video, keep on watching. Mwah. video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it came through with a brand new iconic eyes and face palette it is $90 and it's made in Italy it's a limited edition gift from Burberry and it comes in this beautiful gold slick packaging adorned with the Thomas monogram if you know me you know I'm having a moment right now with this pretty ass gold packaging look how luxurious this is and then in the back of it it is solid gold full of fingerprints we get the names of the shades 18 months lifetime everything is nice and readable but this packaging is life this is the design that Burberry gave us most of the times and then now this is what we got so pretty I honestly love both of them but this is like the stepping it up right here I'll show you how this baby looks inside and it's not gonna be the best as you can see i already opened it up i already created the look but in here we get four eyeshadows a blush and a highlighter always appreciate palettes like this because they're easy to use easy to carry on especially for traveling now that i'm going back and forth to orlando all the times this is what i always want to take like i don't want to take bronzer blush highlighter eyeshadows that's just way too much shit and i don't need that so i do appreciate a good face and eyes palette i'm gonna be bringing you all up in my grill let me show you really quick how I created this look and of course I picked up all three lipsticks they're right here so after we're done with the look we're gonna put these lipsticks to the test this is how it looks without and with I mean we do see it it's just a very subtle blush let's see if we can build it up I don't like that it's so powdery. Oh yeah, we can definitely build it up. Go on to the highlighter and I'm using this brush from Jacqueline Hills. Pretty. So that looks super, super pretty. It's like that glow coming with an end, look. Alright babe, so we're gonna be creating this look and I'm loving it. I love the combination of the gold with that burgundy fiery red. It's everything. Let me tape it up. Always put your tape on, lining it by your lower lash. Like you see that my lower lash ends right here and it goes up. That's exactly where I put my tape on right there most of the brushes that i'm using in today's video they're by makeup by ariel and morphe this is the 811 and i'm gonna be picking up this shade right here out of the eyeshadows this is the only matte and this is gonna be my transition color i'm gonna apply it all over my lid it's gonna help me smooth out these little creases right here i'm applying a little bit of this eyeliner from wayne gash on the shade precious opa and I'm creating a messy wing on my other B. My A25, I'm going to be picking up a little bit of the brown with the tip of the brush. You see how the brush, it's more rounded? That's exactly what I need because we're going to be applying this brown right on top of the liner. And we're going to be blending it out on circular motions. Exactly where you apply the liner, that's exactly where you want to blend it with the shadow. With my big fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the matte 
and I'm gonna use it to blend the edges right here of the brown you know what I wanted to ask you guys I want to know if it's easy to follow my tutorials the way I do it can you let me know this is also from Wayne Gash on the shade copper flame and I'm gonna apply it right here on the center of my leg I'm not gonna apply that much only a little bit with the same A25 I'm gonna be picking up this red and I'm gonna blend the liner same thing circular motions and I'm gonna go up and down up and down the same brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the brown and I'm just gonna reapply right here on matter V because I lost some of it I'm just patting it right in there perfect back with my fluffy brush I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the matte and I'm gonna use it to blend these two colors together and make sure I don't have no harsh lines I'm also applying a little bit of the copper flame eyeliner on my waterline I'm gonna apply kind of thick for this step you need more like a detailed brush or something really little I'm using the pencil pro from Sonia G I picked up a little bit of the red and I'm smudging the eyeliner on my lower lash I don't want it to look like eyeliner so I'm making sure that I'm blending it really good from side to side with the same brush I already wiped it off I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the gold and I'm gonna apply right at the bottom of where this red finish Now with my M431 from Morphe, I just wet the brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the gold and I'm gonna apply it on my tear duct. And now with my Jumbo Blender, I'm gonna pick up a little more of the gold. See, this is dry and this is wet. So you already know that we are gonna wet the brush for sure. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the gold. And look at this. Oh, I love this. A full pigmentation a 25 the brush that I was using to blend the red and I'm gonna pick up a little more of that red and I'm gonna use it to make a transition right here between the gold and the burgundy I just applied mascara I used these two babies the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and my boo thing from Tom Ford you already know that if you go ahead and apply eyelashes you are going to make the eye look pop even more I just don't do it because my eyes are sensitive but I'm loving the look straight the fuck up I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the blush See, you definitely have to build it up because it's not going to give you a whole lot right away. Like this, for me, is too light. I need more. So we have to play with the blush and the intensity and all that. And you guys know I hate the struggle. The formulation is very pretty and smoothering. But I'm just fighting with the pigmentation. Like... Okay, this is wet and this is wet out. You see the difference, but it's not a big difference. Even if you build it up, this is as much blush that you're gonna get. Moving on to the highlighter, I'm using the same brush from Jacqueline Hills. You see, I like the highlighter more than the blush. The blush. Look how pretty the highlighter. It's nothing that is gonna blind you, but it's pretty. I definitely like the highlighter more than the blush. The blush is more like a for what type of blush. And I know that if you wet this highlighter, it's gonna get way more intense, but I'm not even gonna do that because back in the days, I always used to wet my highlighter to get the most out of it but right now there is so many highlighters that they are so intense that you don't have to wet your brush so i don't think it's fair for you to buy one that you have to wet you know what i mean nah 
Mm -mm. We're gonna be moving on to the lipstick. And I have all three shades right here. This packaging drives me insane every time I look at them. They are limited edition and they're $37 each. Let me put them side to side so you can peep all three shades and look how pretty they are. They come in a new luminous paralyzed finish and a long lasting formula. Tense pigment, high coverage. I'm gonna start from the lightest one that it is Delicase Rose. Mm. And look how nice they glide on the lips. And they do have like some sheen in it. They have like very tiny particles of glitters, but it's that shine that you don't feel on the lips. I love lipsticks with this type of formulation, like shiny, that they have like little tiny particles of glitters for nighttime or for parties. They're perfection for the holidays. Mm. Look how easy it is to apply with a lip liner. I just love it because you don't feel those little particles of glitters on your lips at all. This is really rich and creamy and they're also enriched with hyaluronic acid and it's going to keep your lips moisturizing for 24 hours. I always tell you a red lipstick that you can apply without a lip liner, it's a good red lipstick. Moving on to my final thoughts, no BS. What do I think about these goodies? These four colors must be on everybody's collection. And it's a shame because I love Burberry's makeup with a passion. Don't shut up when it comes to this palette right here. This is the first eyeshadow palette they came out with. And I recommended it to so many of my babes. And so many of my babes love this palette, the formulation, the shades, everything about this palette. It's just like, it's everything. When it comes to this baby, I love the eye look. But I definitely know that this is something that you can recreate with so many other palettes let me compare them really quick i'm gonna be swatching this gold one. Oh, they are totally different colors the gold in the new palette this one it is a gold gold see and then the one in this one has like a little bit of orangey on it well i definitely like the gold in this palette a little bit more let me swatch this red and this one next to the one in the other palette. Oh, so look at that pigmentation. Like I'm barely touching my skin. Look at that. This is the red in the new palette. And this is more like brownish red. And this one it's like more burgundy. Leaning a little plumpy. All three shades. They're completely different. That's a good thing. And I got eyeshadow everywhere. Oh, I'm a mess. And these two mattes, they're like more beigey, more brown. They're more warm. The one in the other palette, it's leaning more gray. The mattes feel the same in both of the palettes. They're creamy, easy to blend. My only, it's on the shimmers, on the metallic shades. The, these ones are more powdery. It's definitely not giving me the same vibe that this one gives me. Like, it's just not giving it to me. The shades in this palette are prettier. They're creamy. The formulation is better. Save your coin. I know they're going to come through with something better. I pull out this baby. Ah, this is the face palette. We have bronzer, blushes, and highlighter. And I just want to compare the highlighter in the new palette to this two really quick. And I'm just going to compare the blushes, but only like comparing the color because this one's they're luminous they're shiny and the blush that we're getting in this palette it is a matte one so this one is one highlighter from the face palette swatch the new one you see that like you can even see it bro this palette is just way too light way too sheer 
That is not the vibe. Mm -mm. Like how they're gonna give us something this pretty and this intense and then they're gonna step down to this. No, it doesn't make no sense. And let's see what's up with the blushes. You can't even see it. Oh my God, what the heck? Look at this, like I'm gonna, look at this. I'm gonna dig my finger in there like I'm, You can't even see it on my finger. Look at that. No. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. And once you blend that on your face, it disappears. I like the matte formulation on the blush. Actually, I like it more than the luminous blush in the other face palette. I just wish that it was darker, more pigmentation. This is way too light. I pull out this baby from Tom Ford. I wanna swatch this next to this red. Even though this looks way brighter than this. This one is the one from Tom Ford. This one is the one from Burberry. You know what's funny? That now that I'm swatching this red and I'm comparing it to other ones in my collection, I'm appreciating it a little bit more because it's more red than burgundy. It's not too dark, it's more bright and we don't see that a lot. I also have this one from Wayne. I thought it was similar, but you see what I mean? When I pull them out and I put them side to side, they're nothing alike. This one looks more like the Tom Ford, see? Not like this one. Damn, this one is like a true red. That's nice. But then I have this one. This is just the love of my life. Let's see. So this one is the one from Pomegranate, and this one is the one from Burberry. Let me give it a swatch right here. That's Pomegranate, and this one is Burberry. See. The one from Burberry is still a little bit brighter, but they're more similar. Like on the eyes, you're not gonna be able to tell which one is which one. What I'm gonna say is that this is a pretty palette, but it's not better than this one, the first one they came out with. This one is the one that I'm always recommending you guys. This one is the one. For some reason, I like the formulation better. And I really just wish that everything here was more pigmented, more rich, more intense, instead of just like that one shade. Besides this red shade, everything else it's whatever and the palette it's not even pigmented enough to be good for every skin complexion you know like this blush is just gonna be annoying like i don't like the struggle when it comes to color payoff i'm definitely not gonna be digging my brush digging my brush trying to get a little bit of blush when i have so many other good ass blushes pigmented you know and beautiful like you feel what I'm saying? And then when it comes to the lipsticks, this one that I have on is pretty, but it's definitely not for every occasion. It's not gonna be for every skin complexion. When it comes to the red lipstick, I have better red lipsticks already in my collection. So if you have a lot of red lipsticks that you already like, that one, it's not a must have. But the nude lipstick, this is pretty this is really really pretty it's going to look beautiful in most of the skin complexions if you've been on the hunt for a beautiful nice nude luminized paralyzed finished lipsticks this one get this one but even when you take your lipstick off or when your lipstick is coming out because you're eating or whatever you see that glow in your lips here and there and that looks sexy all right babes i think i got everything covered i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you do that's gonna be the way i know you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this collection do you like it you don't like it are you going to be picking it up or not let me know thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much to the moon and back and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you're considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever so go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i upload new videos Mwah! see you on the next one